everyone, it's Miss Amanda from the Children's Museum. I'm missing you guys today in class, but I hope that you guys are all healthy and having fun, and maybe bringing some structure and some art into your days. I had one idea to help you bring some art into your days, and that's that you and I can do an art project together, even though we're not together. We can do it right now if you follow along with this video. There's one art project that I really wanted to show you because at this time of year, I usually like to do a lot of springtime art projects in class. There's so many colors and so much fun in springtime that I like to bring those colors and all that nature right into the classroom. And I thought you might need some of that at home too. So that's what we're gonna do. All we need are some basic things that you probably have in your house. Scissors, paper, paint and a paintbrush if you have one, and one of these. I thought you guys might have a few of these at home. I definitely do too, and I always save my recyclables to use for art projects, especially these cardboard tubes. So if you have some, we can actually use our imaginations and turn them into art today. You know that these aren't just cardboard tubes, that with our imagination, they can become telescopes, or microphones, or a flower. You might not know how to turn it into a flower, but today I'm going to show you how. And it's actually really easy. Just follow along with me. First, take your pair of scissors. You can see I have a little one. And if you have kid scissors, this is a great project for our kids to practice their fine motor skills and their cutting. If not, this is a part of the project that a grown-up can do before the kid starts. And we can do these cuts first. But all we need to do are to make little cuts with the scissors, starting at the bottom and going to the middle. Just like that. I'm going to make another one not too far away. Just like that. And I'm going to keep going all the way around. You do that too until you've got something like this. You can see that I've got cuts all the way around my little paper towel tube. And I'm going to start making the flower bloom. So just take your fingers, grab the top, and pull down the petals of the flower. We're going to do that to every one of them until our flower starts to bloom. Next, we're going to add some colors to the flower. So, I picked blue, but you can pick any color that you want your flower to be. I'm going to take a little bit of color. I used a paintbrush. If you want, you can dip yours. And I'm going to put my blue color right onto my petals, like this. We need plenty, so go ahead and get your, your petals covered in paint. Once you do, your flower can look a little something like this. I love my bright blue flower. And now it's going to be a stamp. So I can use it over and over again and make a whole garden of flowers on my paper. All that you need to do is press it really hard onto that paper. Make sure you push every petal down. And then once you do, once you really push it, you can lift it up and see your flower like this. This is the one I really pushed hard with a lot of paint. So if yours doesn't look like that, keep trying and see if you can add a little more paint. I want to get my imagination going. So my flower is going to have some leaves, maybe some pollen in the middle, and maybe even a little bumblebee is going to come and check it out. Can you see that? It's a little springtime artwork, but it can be a really fun project. And since this project is a stamp, you can do it over and over and over again. You can add some different colors on there and keep using your stamp. So don't forget to find creative ways to use your recycling, to do some art, and to keep adding education into our day. Let's talk about spring and flowers, and pretty soon I hope that we can be back together to do art projects in real life. Have fun, guys. Show me if you do this project. Send me a picture and show me how it turns out. I can't wait to see. Bye.